like my hat? Make America great again. Do I look like a Nazi? Yes, you do. Really? My brown skin makes me a Nazi? Oh, shocking. I don't oh. think make you a Nazi. If anything, you're the Nazi. No Nazi, no KKK, no Nazi, USA. No Nazi, no KKK, no Nazi, USA. Hey, you want to do an interview? Is it Trump 2020? Willie Nelson. Willie Nelson! <laughs> You're lefty, right? Liberal, right? I'm Pretty very privileged. We started calling you guys Profa, Pro Fascists. Profa Drones. It's a good name for you. You guys are balls. Close for us. What's going on right now is the police are completely blocking us off, even though it's a public protest and we should be able to interview whoever we want. It is the police's job to keep everyone safe, not to block them from interviewing people and stopping them from going into a public protest. So we're going to try and find an opening the best we can because that is not illegal. Separated. That's not a law though. Is that is, is that like a new policy? Because if you guys are just making up the law as you go, that's kind of a problem. Like I'm not trying to be a dick, but this is our job. It's our job to interview people. That's the determination made by the command. Your lieutenant? We have a lieutenant, captain, and assistant chief here. Did it go all the way up to the top? I have no idea. What's up? You want to come have an interview? Come have an interview with us. I don't think he likes me. It's still a free country, am I right? So we're trying to go to the march. We want to do some interviews with people. That's what's, that's what's going on. We're just a film crew. So we're trying to find out what's the march about, what's immigrant rights. We're talking about Antifa. Well, if anybody wants to come off the march and talk to you, then we can. But why can't we join the march? Because I don't want you to join the march. We have a time, place, and matter restriction. I think you're there. Uh, that would antagonize the crowd, so I want to keep it separate. Well, that's our goal, and that's our mission today. So freedom of speech. The First can, Amendment protects us doing this. I'm, I'm not through the you, 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 you have access to people from the march all along this group. Well, why can't we join? What if we were liberals? Why can't we join this group? You don't know us. You think we might antagonize them, but either way, freedom of speech and civil discourse is the way of this country. We should be allowed to interview them. You can you can ask them to interview. You can talk to them aside. The right, but we should be allowed to be in the march. Okay, that's your opinion, sir. Officer. So we're gonna keep going. And I feel like they're actually thinking you guys are the biggest threat. Um, Just some people with microphones and cameras. And yeah. I don't feel scared of you. I mean, I don't need you to have the paintball gun, but I really don't need them and to I'm have sure any we other definitely guns. Have I'm sure we have yeah. different opinions on like gun control and stuff like that. Yeah. But again, like it's, it's just for it's just for dialogue. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. It just uh, literally it was only the paintball gun. Was, I would never ever use it on anybody. That's yeah. not my thing. I'm a licensed security guard. I yeah. want to be a police officer eventually. Yeah. It's not about hurting people. It's that if Antifa came out because they know who we are, if they saw him personally, yeah. they would actually try to. They would come out of the march and they would try to hurt him. So that way, with their they masks on, you they recognize yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. We're not wearing masks. We don't wear masks. We don't like to hide our faces. They do though. So like if they run away, you can tag them in the leg, tag them in the foot. Not only, you know, not in a hurt, not in a hurtful way. You know what I'm saying? It might be, but not in a hurtful way or anything. But that way, when they run and hide, we can have the police officers and go and identify the guy with the paint on. That's a hammer and sickle. What I have here is a couple guys who are actually filming a show. And they've been kind of flanked by this uh, crowd. You've been, you were flanking the march all the way down from Capitol Hill, correct? Yes. Is it Salim? Salim Juma. Salim Juma. Yes. Deion Thompson. Tom. 
and you run a, a, a podcast. A YouTube channel, actually. I'm the host, and Dion is my co-host. But it's the hats that you're wearing that basically has given you a special escort with police. Actually, right? we got the special escort beforehand. They knew that we were right-leaning journalists. But if you're a journalist, why? that's not really a, a partial, impartial well, hat Well, I'm a right-leaning journalist, specifically. A lot of YouTube commentators, they report the news and things like that, but there's also a well, lot of... you understand of how journalism. inflammatory it could be on the I absolutely do, yeah. but that's part of the channel. Why yeah. can we not wear these hats? We should be able to wear these hats and have political discourse and be able to talk about our opinions without worrying. And so typically even we if do I'm have typical, merch. Yeah, typically we do have really good discourse with no. people with the hats on, but it's just sometimes it so happens. So you understand why the police separated you for the whole time, right? But they separated us before we put on the hats. Yeah. And then we put the hats on after. So they were following us even before that. So what are your plans for the rest of the day here? Well, we're actually going to go to uh, Westlake and see if we can uh, find some of the so-called anti-fascist protesters who we actually call profa, pro-fascist protesters. And we're going to try and interview them and find out why they're so violent. Oh, look, it's that lady that tried to rip the sign out of our hands. Fascist, hey, fuck, you want to do an interview? Fuck, fascist, 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 fuck. Fuck, fascist, fuck, fascist, fuck, fascist, fuck, fascist, fuck, fascist. You guys are profa. We started calling you guys profa, pro fascist, profa drones. It's a good name for you. Joey Gibson, right? What? Are you Joey? Yeah, I'm Joey. You're a fascist fuck. Why am I a fascist? Tell us why we're fascists. Have you actually seen Lenin ever? Why is it such a problem to support the sitting president of the United States? Why is he a fascist? If you can tell me, I'll give you 50 bucks. I don't, I don't need money. Is that because, okay. Do you, do, is that because you believe in communism? Do you believe in communism? I mean, my grandfather fought in the Great Patriotic War, so yes. Okay. That's, that's probably not a good thing. No, it is actually because he, do you think defended, communism he defended your right to be a fascist, even though he was killing fascists. So you think communism will work? I don't know if it'll work, but it's definitely a better alternative than fascism. Oh, it's not. Have you been to communist country? Because I've been there. I'm from there. Oh, okay. He's from Russia. Oh. oh, well, my grandfather fought in the Red Army. These are his pins. I'm wearing them right so now. You know how sad it is to see you, a person your grandfather probably fought into, no family was not touched by the war, and yet you are here fighting on the fascist side. Do you see the, the oxymoronism of that? Let me ask you a simple question. Would we be able to talk to you and you be able to stand for communism in a capitalist country if we were fascists? If this was true fascism, you wouldn't have freedom of speech. I'm not saying it's true fascism. I'm saying you guys are fascists. <laughs> what do you think we want to do to you guys? I, I have no idea, and I don't want to find out. Actual fascists did. They put him in gulags. Is that how you say it? Gulag? That, that's what's telling you. put 20 million people to camps. You know, and you know how many people died in the gulag camps? Have you ever been to the gulag museum in Moscow? Because I have. My throat. Okay. Tell us about it. All right, so the gulag museum in Moscow is very interesting. You'll go there, and you'll find out that within the first, most of the people who died in the, in the gulag camps, they died during the uh, Great Patriotic War, World War II, right? Um, only about 700,000 people actually died. About 20 million people were interned, but only about 700,000 people actually died. Now, it's a common talking point for a lot of you folks to be like, oh, you know, because that's the thing. You'll say 20 million today, tomorrow will be 50 million. Next thing you know, it's going to be 200 million, and that's the population of the Soviet Union in, uh, in its entirety during the Second World War. So what is it? That's the thing. So when you go to that, that museum, you'll find out, you know, the Gulag camps, so they are a horrible atrocity. It's been totally blown out of proportion by fascists. Pro-fascist. How are they pro-fascist? They're pro-fascist because they shut down freedom of speech. They attack people with different political beliefs. I'm here to do interviews with people and talk to them, and they attack us. Well, I'm anti-fascist. Are you? Do you hate me because of my hat? I think that you're severely misinformed because of your hat. But you know what? Here's the thing. If you want to be part of anti you're you're lefty, right? Liberal, right? Pretty I'm very privileged. I vote in general. Experience privilege for being white. I experience privilege for various things for living in this country. There are some things I don't experience as much privilege for. The fact that I'm tattooed makes me 
like I get weird looks from people. They think I'm a junkie. Two hours later. That's where identity politics kind of comes in because it's like, this is like a really multi-dimensional thing. And here's where I land on it, right? And there's where you land on it. You're ugly too. Thank you. I know it's a lie. He's ugly. I'm really handsome. That's I get not it. nice. He's a male model. I'll have you know. Yeah. Oh my god. You're ugly on the inside. That's the same. Am I ugly on the inside too? Don't you like immigrants and Muslims? <laughs> You don't like me. Vote for Trump. I know, I'm just a little nauseous about uh, something really gross just walked by. Do I look like a Nazi? Yes, you do. Really? My brown skin makes me a Nazi? Oh, yeah, shocking. I didn't know that. Really if anything, you're the Nazi. No Nazi, no KKK, no Nazis, no USA. No Nazis, no KKK, no Nazis, USA. Everybody back. We love America! They're fucking giant! You wanna do an interview with us? Or do you just like hot pictures? Hey, I like your hammer and sickle flag! Oh, he's talking about fucking us up. That's probably why the cops stopped him. So, hi, uh, I'm, my name's Dion with Operation Cold Front. And I'm Salim Juma. Yeah, and yeah, and uh, nice what's your name? My name is Mongbi Yang. Mambi. That is a dope ass name, dude. Yeah, that's cool. So, where are you from? I'm from China. So, what do you think about the Antifa here? The uh, people in black masks, all black. What do you think With about this? With the hammer people? and sickle, so pro. -communist. Yeah, the pro communist signs and pins and stuff like that. I, I don't like it. I, you know, like they, they have a flag over there, the communist flag. I recognize it, and I was like, why they have one in America? So, why do you think they support that? I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. Do you think it's a little strange that privileged white kids who've been grow who've grown up with everything in their lives support communism? I think probably they are spoiled. They don't know what it is. Like they've never they never experienced anything like bad and they they think, you know, I don't know. I, I they think, would not have survived Mao's China. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree with you. Yeah. My family was uh, sent, like, was removed from where they lived at and to a different city, like, to do a lot of, like, uh, uh, labors, like, hard labors for, like, 12 years. And uh, it, they, my, my dad was a victim because my dad was only, like, 9 year or 10 year old and he didn't have a chance to do his education. Like, for his whole life, he always regret. Like, but there was nothing he could do because, you know, he was forced. What do you think would happen if the United States embraced communism today? I'd be, like, scared to walk in the street. Probably people would be, like, robbing, violence, like, shooting people, like, you know. It's kind of like what hap what's happening in Venezuela right now. The economy is going into a spiral of dysfunctionality. Venezuela has, of today, the highest inflation in the world. Venezuelans today cannot eat. You see people eating from the garbage. Hospitals that have massive deaths of newborns, and you know there is no access to medication. A cycle of violence and street protest. Chinese regime under this one-party policy is the most of the fascism and undemocratic regime. Mm -hmm. And so we call for the world to stand up against that the Chinese communist regime. Mm -hmm. We want to deport all the Chinese communist spies out of the U.S., out of any other countries. Right, we I couldn't agree more. We must have our own oh, man, human rights right. and freedom. Right, because I think what would happen is if we move to a communist society in the United States, that would be so bad because it would turn out to be exactly like China, exactly like North Korea, exactly like Venezuela. What is Mayday like really about and how do you feel about the communist flag right there? 
Well, I, I mean, different. That's a Trotskyist flag from the Spanish uh, Civil War, and uh, I think it has some historical value. Okay. May Day was about the eight-hour day, 1986, Haymarket, 1886. Do you think the Confederate flag has historical value? Do I think the Confederate flag has a... I mean, if you're saying that, what the hammer and sickle has historical Oh, are you asking me, am I, is it, am I shocked because it has a hammer and sickle? Yeah. Uh, I've seen it before. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Cool. Thank you for answering some questions. Sure. Yeah. And I'm glad that you stopped and were able to talk to us. I know you hate us, but it's okay. Hey, you know what? I can hate anybody I want. Exactly. You, it's a free country. I'm just, I want to tell you, I'm really glad you stopped to tell us your opinion. That's all we're looking for. What do you think of uh, May Day so far? I don't know. I'm glad people aren't breaking windows. That's pretty yeah. good, right? What do you think of like Antifa and their crew? Um, well, I'm actually a conservative. So. Dude. So are we. Oh, thank God. Somebody else. <laughs> you can look us up at Operation Cold Front, my dude. Civil, Civil discourse. discourse. Just talk to people. Stop fighting and punching people and being ridiculous. Even if they have a Make America Great Again hat, that does not mean they're racist or sexist or homophobic. One of my guys today is a gay conservative. One of my guys today is a black conservative. I myself am Muslim, brown-skinned, and disabled. So... A lot of minority social justice points there. Yeah, and there's also a, literally a database of fake hoaxes and uh, attacks against Trump supporters yeah. on the internet right now. There's over 400 of attacks and yeah. over 300 hoaxes. So that just goes to show, what's the bias against Do you know how easily this could be solved? Just talk to people. Yeah. Even if they're from a different side, just talk to them. Don't go in there trying to start trouble, just say hi. My name's Salim. I'm a conservative. Make America great again. I don't care that you're liberal or leftist or communist or whatever. Let's just talk. Let's understand each other. That's it.